Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, hello, my name is Skylar. I am a certified dog trainer and pet nutritionist. Today I am very excited because I get to talk about one of my most favorite things in the whole wide world and that is goat's milk. Goat's milk is my favorite. Oh my god, goat's milk. So if you have spent any time on this channel, I'm sure you've heard me talk about how kibble's not that great and how kibble really wasn't made for the health of our pets and kibble was made for the convenience of the person feeding the kibble and how you should always add to your kibble and it's even better if you can add raw to your kibble or even feed raw or just there's so many different benefits of adding things to your kibble and today we're going to be talking about probably my favorite add to ever if you take nothing else away from any of my videos it should be that you should add goat's milk to your pet's diet and I'm gonna tell you why, because I love it so much. So first and foremost, let's talk about goat's milk for a second. I'm sure a lot of you older folks who watch my channel probably are familiar with people feeding their cats cream or milk. And then all of a sudden it was like, no, that's really bad. You don't actually give your cats cream and milk. And now I'm telling you to give your cats milk or your dog milk. And here's the thing. Cats and dogs are naturally lactose intolerant. The molecules are too big and their bodies can't process it. Goat's milk, their molecules are itty bitty teeny tiny little baby molecules and they are easily absorbed and digestible. So let's get that out there right now. So without further ado, let's get into the reasons why you should be feeding your pets goat's milk. First and foremost, it's a probiotic powerhouse. Goat's milk is full of millions of live and active pre and probiotics. Probiotics are really important in treating a lot of digestional problems like colitis, like diarrhea, like IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. And you may be sitting there like, okay, yeah, I give my pets powders or pills for their probiotics. No, 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 no. Goat's milk is super fast absorbing. So they get to use it sooner and it works better. Not only is goat's milk a probiotic powerhouse, but it's a natural allergy relief. Yeah, it's that cool. Goat's milk is a natural antihistamine, which makes it ideal for counteracting those allergy responses. Goat's milk is also really high in caprylic acid, which is a natural yeast fighter. So whether it's seasonal allergies from the outdoors, environmental allergies, also, usually from the outdoors, food allergies that you just haven't figured out yet, but you're working with me and we have a diet plan and you're doing your best and we're just trying to figure things out. Or yeast helps with all of those things. Helps to minimize those symptoms and keep them more comfortable. We love it. Goat's milk is also a universal mammalian breast milk supplement. So goat's milk is full of all of the nutrients, trace minerals, highly digestible proteins that your dog or cat needs to survive and thrive. Because of its rich nutrients and high digestibility, it also makes a really good KMR slash PMR replacement. So if you got an itty bitty little kitty or an itty bitty little puppy, goat's milk is a great option to help supplement the mother's milk. Dental care, how does milk help with dental care? I'm about to tell you. Raw milk has digestive enzymes that then trigger the enzymes already in your pet's mouth to then break down plaque and tartar naturally the way that their mouths are supposed to do it. The probiotics in goat's milk also helps to ease the belly because a lot of those nasty breaths are because their digestive system is working to the max and then you get that bad gut breath that comes up and it's like halitosis. We don't want that halitosis, we don't. We want nice smelling gut breath from a healthy gut. Immune boosting capabilities. Because goat's milk is full of vitamins, nutrients, trace minerals, enzymes, fatty acids, it makes it a great immune boost. It also makes it my number one favorite vitamin supplement. I have people asking me all the time, what kind of vitamins should I give my pet? And first, they should be getting most of their vitamins from their food. If they're not, we need to speak to a vet and cater our diets accordingly. Two, if you're concerned 
add goat's milk, it has them all. It's great. Goat's milk is great. Not only is goat's milk full of all those vitamins, but they're a whole food source. So it's easily recognized by the body, whereas synthetic vitamins are a mirrored image and not the same, and the body doesn't always see them as what they should be. So a whole food source is so much better. Last but not least, goat's milk, great for cancer fighting, as conjugated linoleic acid, CLA, which is a known cancer fighting fat. Not only that, but goat's milk is high in nutrients and low in carbohydrate, which is the ideal diet you should be feeding your pet if they were diagnosed with cancer because the cancer feeds off of the high sugar content and a lot of other foods that are high in carbohydrate. Now, I'm not saying that goat's milk is a cure for anything, but it's my favorite thing to add to my pet's diet. And there's a reason why all of them get it all the time with every meal, even though they're ages one and a half to 15. I love goat's milk. If I were ever to make merch, there would be a goat's milk item. And I don't know if it would be a pin or like a got milk themed shirt. I don't know, but I'm really into goat's milk. Goat's milk is my favorite. And if you spend any time talking to me, especially in real life, I talk about goat's milk all the time. So now that I've gone over all the different benefits of goat's milk, and now you're obviously sitting here like, oh my God, why haven't I been feeding goat's milk this whole time? Please tell me more information. Where do I buy this? Here we go. I get my goat's milk from two different pet food manufacturers. I get Answers and I get Primal. I like them both. I don't think my dogs have a preference of either. I do prefer to get Answers personally because they do it in cartons as opposed to the plastic that Primal uses. Either one that you have access to are great. I highly recommend picking some up. If you have access to a real life goat and you can get your own goat's milk that way, that's totally fine too. You just want it to be a raw milk as opposed to a processed milk because obviously the processed milk is not going to have all the same benefits, high nutrients, all of that great jazz we talked about before when compared to a raw milk. It's the raw portion that makes it so great. So keep that in mind. I personally feed my dogs goat's milk with every meal. So they get some in the morning, get some at night. And typically you want to do a fourth of a cup per 25 pounds. So my dogs get three fourths of a cup per day-ish. When you first get your goat's milk, if you buy it from a pet food source, like the Answers or the Primal, it's gonna come frozen, you're gonna have to defrost it. Easiest way to do that is on the counter. Please do not microwave your goat's milk to make it defrost faster. I've had a lot of people ask if they can stick it in the microwave. No, no, please don't. You're gonna ruin all of the good nutrients that are in there and it's not gonna work very well. Have some patience. Let it out on the counter for a little bit. It'll defrost. And then you're gonna wanna give it a really good shake, like a full bartender shake. Because it's a raw milk, it's gonna be separated. It's not homogenized like a processed, pasteurized milk will be. It's gonna look like bad milk, but it's totally fine. Trust me on this one, it's totally fine. After you give it a really good shake, that's when you can measure it out. And you can either put it directly into your dog's food or your cat's food like I do, where it's just kind of as an extra garnish on top. Some pets prefer it off to the side in its own separate dish. Whichever way you want to do it, whichever way they prefer to do it, do it that way. I have noticed with cats, especially when you try to give cats anything new, they're kind of pains in the butts. And they like to investigate their surroundings. So you give them what I would recommend is put it in a little dish, leave the dish out and only do like a tablespoon, little dish, let it, let it sit out for a little bit. They'll probably sniff it and then they'll walk away. And then the next day, dish, little teaspoon, little tablespoon, they'll sniff it, they'll walk away. You'll start to get frustrated. Use that to encourage you to keep going. Make this a spite thing, okay? You're gonna be more stubborn than they are. Third day, little dish. They're gonna sniff it. Maybe they put their tongue in. <gasps> They're drinking it. They love it. Five stars. Your cat is now in goat's milk. 
my point? Sometimes your cat or dog isn't gonna like it right away. It's my pet's favorite food. They're gonna love it eventually. It's good for them. And if it gets to the point where they don't like it for whatever crazy reason, I recommend continuing to feed it to them anyway, like you would a kid with the Flintstone vitamin. It's good for them. They're gonna grow to love it if they don't already. My dogs, like I said, love that so much. Favorite food. Now, once you have opened your goat's milk, you can refreeze it once. One time you can refreeze. I recommend this for a lot of people with cats or small dogs. Get an ice cube tray, just a standard ice cube tray. Usually each ice cube is one ounce and usually for small dogs and cats, you give them an ounce or two a day, which makes it super easy. Pop out an ice cube, defrost it, let them eat. Refreeze it once. If you have a big dog, you can usually go through an entire thing of goat's milk before it's expired. As far as how long it's good in the fridge, I say 14 days. Um, most companies say 14 days just to be on the safe side, but Roxanne Stone, who is the founder of Answers, has said like 28 days is fine. So if you accidentally go over the 14 days and all of a sudden it's day 18, don't throw it away unless it's like really gross and you don't feel comfortable feeding it, but it's probably totally fine. Goat's milk is also really nice if you're interested in feeding a raw diet or interested in incorporating raw in your pet's diet, but the idea of the raw meat is still a little scary to you, which, trust me, I totally get. We've spent our whole lives learning that cookie dough could kill you. Raw meat takes a little bit of an adjustment for a lot of people, but goat's milk is a great way of introducing raw into the diet and then making it super digestible for yourself and for your pet because it's a highly digestible food. I also highly recommend that if you are interested in incorporating raw into your diet to start with goat's milk because it'll help kind of start the foundation of prepping the body for digesting raw because it is a different digestion process than digesting kibble. Um, but it helps to kind of create that framework to then make it a really easy transition onto raw. I'm also a huge fan of if you have a puppy and you want to know what the best puppy food is, it's goat's milk. Not all goat's milk, but incorporating goat's milk into whatever diet you are feeding that puppy is gonna make it so much better. It's gonna set them up for so many great things to come. And it also kind of helps to open your mind into the world of adding things to the diet and taking those steps to make a better diet for your pet. So, goat's milk, I'm a huge fan. I want merch at some point that is goat's milk themed. Go out and buy some goat's milk. Let me know in the comments how it's going for you. If you have any questions for me, feel free to leave those down in the comments. If it is specialized to your pet, go ahead and check out my website or leave me an email. We can schedule a nutritional consult and we can talk about your pet's specifics because I hate talking generalizations. What's good for one pet might be really bad for another. So. That's how I like to keep things. Like this video if you learned something new. Like this video if you already feed goat's milk and you also think it's amazing. Like this video if you are going to go out and buy goat's milk the second I'm done talking because I'm kind of rambling about goat's milk now. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more information because I do post every Training Tuesday and every Feeding Friday. I do my best at least and I do obviously want to give you guys a wealth of information so that you can make more informed decisions about your pet's well-being and lives. If you're interested in learning more about my personal life or about pet food and pet training, I do have two different Instagrams. They are tattooed.dogtrainer is my personal and top dog behavior is my business Instagram. Go ahead and follow those. You can also tag me in your pet pictures and they might be featured at the end screen of my video. You also might see them on my social medias as well. I love to see your pets. I like to make this a nice, fun community. And I feel like that's the way I want to do it, is I want to just show everybody each other's pets and we can all be super happy about how happy and healthy they are. My battery is flashing at me, which means that I've officially talked way too long about goat's milk. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.